It is 1 in the morning, 1.15. I started to get contractions at like, I want to say an hour ago. I started timing them. Um, they started at about like 9 minutes apart. And now they're every 4 to 5 minutes. Still not painful, but definitely there and noticeable. I can't sleep through them. So I'm just going to try to lay down and see how they progress. Good morning, it's the next day. I had contractions from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Not painful, just consistently strong and I felt a lot of pressure. Um, so we packed up the truck just in case because it was like three in the morning, super windy, icy. Um, so I just wanted to like give ourselves extra time just in case. Um, but then I told Dan he should go back to bed just in case like I don't go into active labor then he would still go to work. Um, I slept on the couch for a bit and then I felt like more just achy so I was like well I might as well just go to bed and try to get as much sleep as I can but I didn't fall asleep till 6 in the morning and then I was up at 8.30 today. Still getting contractions and when I went to the bathroom pretty sure I um, lost my mucus plug so I'm anticipating contractions on and off all day and possibly tonight might kick into active labor um, I definitely am more productive in the evenings just because like the girls are in bed there's less stress it's more calming um, it's just you know it's the human body's natural instinct to want to give birth in a dark space where you're safe um, but who knows we'll see I'm still feeling a lot of pressure and getting contractions so things could change third baby never know Dan's at work but he doesn't work far away from the hospital so he can meet me there um, if I feel like things are picking up the pace so I'm gonna carry on with my day and just kind of see how my body does it is 12 o'clock my mom and I are taking the girls um, out to drop Harlow off at preschool it's her costume day today for Halloween otherwise honestly I probably wouldn't be bringing her um, I just have to pick up a couple things I do not feel well the contractions are still coming they're not close together um, I just feel like crap like I want to throw up my body is purging it, the system so I just feel like I kind of have like the flu I don't feel well I also only slept two hours last night so that's not helping so yeah my mom's gonna drive I'm just gonna try to close my eyes in the car because I do not feel good um, yeah that's the update for now it's like 12 15 or something so we will see it is quarter to four um, I'm just waiting in the car while my mom is getting Harlow from preschool um, contractions are still mild they haven't really picked up again just I'm just nauseous and I feel I feel sick it is eight almost nine I don't know eight something the girls are in bed I have a heat pad on my back right now I'm just leaning over the bed um, contractions aren't consistent or terrible there's just a lot of pressure like a lot of pressure and the baby's pushing down it's like lightning crotch to the extreme there's the head coming out of you <sighs> um so not heading to the hospital yet but I'm pretty sure this is it so we'll see how the night progresses at this point I don't think I could sleep through this <laughs> um yeah we'll see how it goes so a little bit of change of events um I was able to sleep last night, the contraction stopped, but I woke up today very sick. Um, coughing, vomiting, I have a fever of a hundred point something. I'm not feeling baby move very much and the contractions are like very sporadic. So I called the hospital and they said to come in to get checked just because baby isn't as active as it was yesterday in normal um, activity. I felt. A couple kicks in like the past four hours and that's with trying <coughs> juice and water and all that um, but the vomiting obviously doesn't help so I'm headed to the hospital now I'm gonna get my mom to drive me 
I'm on IV fluids right now just because baby's heart rate was really high. My pulse was really high. I'm just really dehydrated. Um, but even since being on the IVs, both my pulse and baby's heart rate have gone down. So things are looking up. I am just finishing up. I have COVID. So not only did I get hand, foot, mouth this year um, during my pregnancy, I also have COVID. So I now have to isolate for five days at home. Um, so far, everyone else in the house is fine. So hopefully it stays that way. But yeah, good times. It is the next day. I am isolating in my bedroom. <laughs> um, my mom... Dan and the girls have all tested negative for COVID. Um, they don't have any symptoms anyway, so they get to carry on with life until obviously if anything changes where they start giving symptoms, then we'll probably have to test again. But so far, they're all good. Um, <coughs> I have been able to eat and drink, so baby is active and doing good. I'm staying hydrated. <laughs> And I have to isolate for about three more days. Um, it's hard because I want to spend this time with my girls before the baby comes. You know, like I still have things I want to do with them. Like one-on-one -on -one stuff. And of course Halloween is this weekend. But it is what it is. Um, and resting is good for the baby to keep it in. Because I do not want to give birth. Um, not pregnant. <laughs> I do not want to give birth sick. Like, COVID or not, any illness, I could not imagine giving birth right now. Like, I'm so stuffed up and my cough and just thankfully no fever or like body aches or anything today. It's just this cough. Like, my ribs feel bruised from coughing so much last night and my throat hurts from coughing. So other than that, I feel so much better, like so much better. So I'm hoping that my symptoms start slowly going away um, over the next few days. But so far, I'm feeling a whole lot better. Contractions have stopped. I think resting and having my body like repair itself right now <laughs> has like put labor on hold. I did ask the doctor if like the contractions that I was having for the past two days and like losing my mucus plug and everything was actual like early labor or was it like my body reacting to being sick um, and dehydrated and she said it could be both because she said when you're sick your body wants the baby out ASAP that's why a lot of people go into preterm labor like if they're sick earlier on in their pregnancies um, but early labor can also last for like weeks for people. So it could be both. It could just be um, my body trying to get baby out because I was sick or just early labor starting with dilation. Maybe I'm a few centimeters, I don't know. I do have a regular appointment coming up on Wednesday which I'll be allowed to go to and they may or may not check me. I'm not too sure. I can't remember if they do it at 38 weeks or 39. Um, but yeah. So far, baby staying put, and I just want to get better so that I can be healthy for labor. So I'm just resting, drinking lots of water, taking my vitamins, zinc, vitamin C, um, and just trying to eat nutritious foods and heal from within. So that's the plan right now. That was just kind of a all over the place update because I had no clue that I was sick. <laughs> So yeah, pregnancy, never know what you're going to get, but stay tuned for more updates.